Hello, Chris Dale here again with a video from OverTheWire.org. We're, ch we're challenging the Natus War game and we're on level 24. We have another level that looks very much like the one we had before. So we wonder what we can put into this field here. We can see the forms from my previous attempts here on the previous level. And we I don't expect us to get in with any of these because I probably patched the bug that we saw before now, or there's a new bug in the application. So why don't we try to capture this request and see what happens when we fuzz it. So since we're working on PHP and because the challenge looks like it's something as the one we had before, I'm going to basically add three different parameters here. I'm going to add parameters around the password field because I'm going to be fussing PHP type juggling vulnerabilities here. And I'm also going to be adding something in front of the word test. And I'm also going to be surrounding the word test here with my fuss. So the first fuss I'm going to do is going to be just URL encoded bytes. So I'm going to do, I'm going to leave them URL encoded because we are in fact inside of the URL here. So we want to use a URL encoding and that should be good. Um, sorting by length here, we're going to leave this one running. We can see that there's some funky stuff happening here when we're getting in some null bytes, for example. And 1242, there's some funky stuff on the bottom here. We got 1228 when given some other inputs. Notice also the positions here are going to be relevant because I'm actually fussing three different parameters here. So now that the attack is done, why don't we first I want to add a graph extract here. So I'm going to add this around this here. You see that for the most part, these say wrong. I'm going to ignore the ones that says wrong. And I'm going to focus my attention on these ones here. Let's see what the response says here. I'm going to full screen this. And it says, all right, so it just says input. This means that we're not actually submitting the password field. Hence, we don't see any output. So this would also then be all okay. All of these are okay because we're not actually submitting a password. We are actually submitting password FF, right? So, so the logic be behind the source code here never triggers. The vulnerability will never be present. So I always fuss this. I always test the bytes from zero zero all the way up to FF just because it's so darn nifty and nice to have that. Now, since we're attacking PHP, I want to use my PHP fussing set. So I'm now injecting, for example, here you can see I'm doing password true. I'm doing, for example, an array. I'm also doing very interesting parameters here, like password uh, parentheses open, close here, square brackets, that is. By the way, notice the result here is much higher than the ones before. And I'm basically just fussing all of these fields here. I'm fussing all of these positions, the first one, the second one, and the th third one, just trying to see if I can get the application to reveal any type of discrepancies, anomalies, whether it's in content length, in status codes, or if it's in how long the application takes to respond here. So there can be many different things here. Um, and it looks like we actually were quite lucky with this one here. Notice that when we're given these inputs here, 14, these inputs, the square bracket open close, we're getting a huge different results here. A huge different result in the content length that is. So let's go to, yeah, let's go to the result here. We can see that we actually got the password for the next level. So in fact, this challenge here was much easier than the previous challenge. We did not, we did not need to look at the source code to find this vulnerability. We solved it just through regular fussing. And basically, what we're doing here, let's take a look at the source code just to uh, to verify. So what we're doing is they're doing a string comparison and they're checking to see if the password is not equal or actually if string if it doesn't contain actually let me let me double check this one here php string compare so string compare binary safe string comparison it will check to see if this one equals this one and the result will be returns zero if it's less than ooh that's very interesting if it's less than, or if it's greater than, or zero if they're equal. <laughs> that's the funky thing, right? If you do this kind of stuff, if, if you have this, and, and you as a developer think that this will just check to see if these two are equal, 
if they compare or not, we might have bugs because what we're doing is we're checking to see if an array, if if not an array equals whatever is the password, and only then will it be evaluated as true. And that's when a type juggling of PHP comes back into play. PHP type juggling. I showed this in my previous video as well. But there is so many ways PHP will cast different values to different types of types, allowing all kinds of funky business to happen. So I guess that's it, right? Check out PHP type juggling. Know that this type of stuff can also happen in JavaScript, in .NET, uh, like C Sharp and other languages as well. Although C Sharp is a bit more rigid and strict when it comes to types. So keep that in mind. Hope you like the video. I'll be making the next level soon, I hope. And if you like the video, of course, leave a like. I'm, that is much appreciated. Leave a comment if you want to, if there's any follow-up questions and so on. And if you want to be notified for further videos, of course, subscribe to my channel. Cool. See you.